everyone. I welcome you all to this InfoBytes session. In this quick current affairs updation series, we have news coming in from economy, polity, environment, culture, and international relations perspectives. Without further ado, let's begin with our session. First of all, with economy. Government is to procure 518 lakh tons of rice during forthcoming Kharif marketing season. India to become 20 trillion dollar economy by 2047 if it manages to achieve sustained growth of 7 to 7.5 percent, says Economic Advisory Council to Prime Minister. Economic Advisory Council to Prime Minister has released a competitiveness roadmap for India at 100 yesterday and I have covered it in detail. I shall be linking that video either in the iCard or towards the end of the session. Do watch it. Then World Bank has hailed India's whole of government approach to stimulate production during Corona pandemic. Reliance Geo has partnered with world's leading technology giants to roll out 5G services in India. Government has issued 63 show cause notices to manufacturers, importers of weighing and measuring instruments. Now, from culture perspective, Festival of Ganesh Chaturthi is being celebrated across the country today with great devotion. On that note, Analyst IAS wishes you a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Then we have news coming in from across the border. So India United Arab Emirates Strategic Dialogue or India UAE Strategic Dialogue is going to begin and External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar is all set to embark on a three-day visit to United Arab Emirates for the same. The news coming in from Iraq is that 20 people have been killed in heavy clashes erupted in capital of Baghdad. We have seen in yesterday's updation that Pakistan has been flooded. So Pakistan's planning minister has claimed that the devastating floods in the country have caused at least $10 billion of damage. Canada has invoked 1977 pipeline treaty with US for the second time to prevent closing of pipeline in Wisconsin. From the polity section, Amit Shah has redirected Delhi police to make forensic investigation and said that it should be mandatory in all crimes involving punishment of more than six years. From the environment section, the news is that International Whale Shark Day is being celebrated to spread awareness about the importance of whale sharks. This is it for today's current affair updation series. I shall see you again tomorrow with another InfoBytes session. Till then, take care, stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining in.